quick research. Wait, are we back? Are we oh, back? Maybe? Are we back? Yes, we are. Hi, we are. guys. Not Hi, so guys. Well, We're back. I promise. We're back. We're back. We're back. The world, the world PC is heating up a little bit. And, uh, couldn't handle the heat. But uh, we're back. It survived. It made it through the storm. Uh, let me turn down Spotify. It's probably pretty loud. There we go. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to have some Division A action. Dakota Collegiate Rocket League. Um, going to be a crazy match. We got we got some uh, we got some some good people coming up uh, in this next match. I'm really excited to see how they play. Some two very, very interesting teams. Two very, very interesting teams. But uh, coming up, Eric with uh, Swamp Donkey. Eric is coming off a Division B dub. And he decided to join with me on the caster booth with me. So we appreciate him coming on with me as always. Um, love all the effort from all the people in DCRL and uh, absolutely love to see it. So absolutely heater of a series. I highly recommend everybody goes and watches it back. Um, but now we're going to move on to some Division A action. So tonight I'm going to go ahead and go over to this screen over here. Um, we have some Division A action and uh, I'll make the joke because Eric doesn't want to. Um, as you guys can see, the Dawn's leading almost in every category. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. All the teams haven't played yet. So don't pay attention to league leading stuff yet. Um, like I said, this is still week one, so we don't really know what's going on yet. Um, a lot of teams haven't play played yet. Um, and the teams that are going to be facing off tonight are the Dragons and the Worldwide Men. Um, there's not much to look at here. So I'm not going to stare at it for too long. I'm going to go ahead and uh, introduce our first team here, which is the Worldwide Men. Um, leading this team is a new face to the community, a new face to the NDSU community. He made the JV team for NDSU, cracked player, and his name is Parker. Um, he's leading the squad, and uh, his first pick is none other than longtime OG Greek Avenger. He has been around for a long, long time. He's been a captain pretty much every season, except this season. He's become an Overwatch main. He became president of the uh, Overwatch club over at NDSU, taking a step back from, from Rocket League a little bit, but still decided to, you know, obviously play for DCRL. We absolutely love to have Greek here. He's um, he's a great guy, so I love to see him here. And it's very interesting to see him not as a captain. It's so weird to me. But uh, following up... Um, this team is Cryplify. He's uh, been very, very, very excited to uh, be in Division A. Um, last season, I feel like he, last season, he felt like he got a little, you know, bummed out of a Division A spot. And this season, he comes in with some swagger. He's been playing the game a lot. Um, he hit GC1 um, in both threes and twos. So he has been on his absolute grind set. Um, so he finally gets to get his shot um, up in Division A. So it's going to be interesting to see how he can, you know, keep up and how he can contribute to a Division A team. So this team, um, I haven't played much with Parker before other than um, in tryouts, but I know he's cracked. So um, I know, Eric, you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I've already played with him a good bit. He is insane. I expect him to do really, really well in Division A here. You know, him and Greek Avenger are captain every other season. You know, I just can't see this team losing. Yeah, this this team looks absolutely deadly, as Eric said, and I'm super excited to see them play and see how they can progress through the rest of the season. But uh, I'm going to go ahead now and introduce the second team for Division A tonight, which is the Dragons. And uh, leading this squad is another, another long time uh, player of the NDSU leagues and in DCRL. He's been around a long time and another none other than Stewie. He's been around a long time. He just recently hit SSL for the first time recently, and uh, I'm I'm super excited to see um, how he can mesh with this team, given the fact that this is quite literally the uh, Minnesota State University of Moorhead varsity team. So he was able to, um, in the draft for DCRL, he saw Grant, picked him up, Togs was still left on the board and said, why not pick our team? Maybe, maybe just a little bit more practice or something like that for the team all the more time you play together the better you can get so um i mean i'm i'm super excited to see how this team plays it's going to be a sneak peek at you know how the msum team plays um so i'm super excited for it but 
Um, following up Stewie, like I mentioned before, we have Grant, another longtime member, and then the man, the myth, the legend, Togren. Togs Togren. Um, another, another very OG member. He used to be uh, an NDSU League member a long, long time ago, but uh, I think he has transferred schools, and finally he made his way back. I, I don't know if it's grad school or not, but found his way back over in Moorhead at MSUM, and uh, now he is finding himself eligible for DCRL, so he gets to make his inaugural debut in the DCRL, so I'm super excited to see how he can play and how he can fit in with, th with this team. So, all around great stuff coming out here. Eric, what do you think about this team? You know, I think it's going to be really interesting. Having your team be your actual varsity team gives you so much playtime, and if you guys can mesh together, you'll be so much better than everyone else that you play. It'll be really interesting to watch. Yeah, definitely. I got to go ahead and change these uh, team names over. Um, we got World Worldwide Men on blue. Then we got Dragons over on orange. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, Stewie is over here requesting maps and stuff. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> Making me do all this extra work over here. So I got to go ahead and find that. But uh, we do have everybody in the uh, in the lobby. And uh, Eric, I'm going to go ahead and ask you for your prediction for this match. Yeah, I think Worldwide Men is going to take it. I think they'll do it in four. Three, one, Worldwide Men. Worldwide Men. Speaking sorry. Okay, so Worldwide Men take it in four. Okay, okay. I see you. I'm going to go ahead and say Dragons. I think they've probably played quite a bit together already. And uh, I think they're going to have a lot of steam coming into this one. So I'm super excited to see how they mesh together. I'm going to say Dragons in... I'm going to say the opposite of you. Dragons in four. How about that? Sounds great see what happens so all right ladies and gentlemen we are getting ready i don't know is everybody in game here wait during the lobby yeah i mean we're just waiting on them to join so looks like we're finally getting in here i'm gonna go ahead and toss it over here to this scene and uh looks like we are ready to go here and uh match number one Getting underway here, I'm super excited to see how this one goes. Yeah, this will be a really fun series to watch. I'm expecting a lot of goals from both these teams. So, let's see what happens. 100%. I'm going to have you take over. i got to try and fix this over there All real quick. Right. We have Grant getting a touch to the wall. Can Greek get a clear? No, he can't. But Parker's there for the shot on net right away. Bang. Giving them the free goal. He, he gets the shot and he takes it. And that right there is the consistency that Parker is showing time and time again, in, at least in his ranked games. Really great to see from him. Just gets a shot and he hits it. Going into this kickoff, Billy and Grant are going to pinch it up to Stewie, who's on it immediately. Parker gets a good backboard read, though, right over to Carter, who misses in Billy's last, but he's able to get it to the corner. Billy's going to pinch it with Grant right over to Tobes, which is going to pop straight to the ceiling. This is a really good read for Stewie, who misses, and Grant's going to get the center as Tobes there. He is, but he gets 50. Really great defense and really, really good pressure from Stewie and the rest of the Dragons. Stewie has an open net here. If he can get there, no, he can't. He ran in a boost. 12 more boosts, and he can, I think he would have had that. But Togues and Parker get a great 50, and Billy is going to try to stop Stewie, but he eats a shot off, but it is off target. Stewie just controlling this ball for so much of this game already. You know, he's probably, you know, he is the best player on the field, so that's really good to see him. You know, keeping control of that ball and not giving them too many chances. Grant's going to hit to the corner. It's an open net! Billy cannot get back, and that is an equalizing goal with 346 left in this game one. A unfortunate rubber band from Cripplefy there, and it just opened. He was not able to get back in time. And that is a really, really quick tying goal from, from the Dragons, and that is really great to see. You know, they had that early goal against him, but they just came right back and they tied it up. Stewie's going to get a commanding clear down to the corner. Is Greek going to be able to read it? No, he can't. Stewie gets a pinch center. Togues is there, but he cannot get a shot on net. And Cripplify is going to be able to get a clear right out to his teammate, Parker, who's going to go up there the other team's back wall, but Stewie beats him to it. You know, we've seen a lot of already great defense in both of these teams. I know it's one-to-one, -one, but aside from a couple whiffs, it's just been perfect defense. You know, Parker gets a shot under. What a save by Greek Avenger. Is anyone there? No, Stewie gets the backflip. And it cannot find the back of the net. 
blue team with so much time here. Is Parker going to be able to, get the, able to get a pass? He misses, and Togs goes right under it. Cripplefy passes it across, but Greek gets demoed, and Grant should have a free air dribble off the wall here. Oh, Grant with a really unfortunate flip past the ball, and Parker hit, centers it right to Stewie, who centers it again, but Togs is not there. Grant's going to have a shot. Greek beats him to it, though. Oh my goodness, guys. This offense from the Dragons is crazy game one. I'm back. I am back. Welcome Do not worry. Welcome back, Mr. Whirl. Fix the overlay, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I'm going to make it in a real clear here. Let's not change our names. Let's not change our names because it causes stress for the overlay. It doesn't like it. But anyways, overlay is back. We're back in business. And it uh, looks like we have a very, very exciting game number one coming in. Halfway over, game is tied one-to-one -one between the Worldwide Men and the Dragons. And uh, looking like pretty even so far. I've seen some... Uh, great opportunity coming out from both teams. It almost gets pinched in from the from the wall there, but Greek Avenger is up very fast there. Gets a nice touch into the mid. No one there to follow from Worldwide Men. Yeah, I mean, this has just been insane this entire game. Right away, they get that goal, but the Dragons just haven't let up pressure in almost two whole minutes besides that one push there. Going off the oh. ceiling right down to Parker, who's not <laughs> able to find the shot. What an insane attempt from Cryplify there, showing why he's in Div A. And... Just yes, sir. Almost an incredible pass. Oh my goodness. Bro looked like painted hard for a second there on for real? the opponent's backboard there. Crazy yeah. stuff coming up from Worldwide Men, showing some great chemistry so far. We do see Stewie out of his own corner, gets a pass down. Uh, Grant can't quite find the finish there. He's gonna get a demo. Toe gets a land oh. it. Oh, oh good challenge by Stewie. He's 50 in everybody. Back. Stewie's not <laughs> able to get a shot on net. Oh my goodness, Toad's 50 in the entire team. Almost giving yeah. their team an open net. That is crazy. Yeah, crazy stuff. Uh, tied with one minute to go here. Very exciting gameplay here. This is much faster pace. I don't mean to diss on your guys' game, but... Oh, no, for sure. There's just a, there's just a lot of intensity, Ooh. and Stewie is there to put that one away. And the Dragon's it. gonna go up. Two to one with a 57 seconds to go. Beautiful flick from Grant. And... Uh, Worldwide men just not able to get back for that one, and uh, Dragon's gonna go up two to one. Yeah, the Dragons have had great pressure. Their second man has been right where they need him to be, and they've just been able to slot it both times. You know, from Blue Team, we've seen a little bit of passiveness. You know, Carter is a very defensive-minded player, and so is Parker a lot of the time. I think Billy's got to learn how to be a little more aggressive and kind of monkey on this team. Kato was telling him that after tryouts too. He just has to monkey. Yeah, I mean that's what he's been doing. That's what he does best, though. On all of it, oh. Oh my goodness, Greek with the crazy redirect. But that's what Billy does best. He's He loves his demos. He loves getting up field and disrupting. And uh, that's what he's done on a lot of his DCRL teams. So if he can just do so here, I think it would be very, very effective. I 100% uh, agree. Yeah, now we do see Stewie off of his uh, off the left side while they're a little bit awkward. Togue's going to put this one on net, but Greek with a diving save. Gets another touch with a good re recovery there. Gets another 50. That one's going to go above the crossbar. Parker looks a little bit awkward. Gets a nice touch. Old white men it. with seven seconds. They need to make something happen here to take this game number one. A little bit less. Parker can't quite get power. And Cripplefly almost finds the dookie. Can't quite get it. This one's going to go off the corner. Goes off the wall here. Parker's got to keep this one alive. Gets a nice on his car. This one's going to stay up in the air. Floats up high here. So we're going to try and just put that one down. And the Dragons take game number one. And uh, looking a little bit more convincing um in the later in the latter half of that game yeah you know besides like the first 20 seconds they had pressure for a lot of that game worldwide men really has to get that ball cleared and they have to be aggressive on offense billy with four saves and no shots is just you gotta you gotta get shots on net we are getting asked for a new server so we will be ones we'll need to take a minute here all right and, I bet. you know we talked about it earlier billy just needs he really has to monkey if all he needs to do when he's first man is get on the ball and get on the pass. And I think they will be okay and they can take this series. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I think I agree. I mean, Billy has done that, um, like I said before, in uh, the leagues before. His name is literally the Rat Pack. So um, I think it's very possible. And I think um, I really do think that could help him out. Uh, just playing like that. And I think it would help his team out as well. Just being that first man, going and disrupting. Just making, trying to make disruptions happen, create gaps in their um, defense and stuff like that. So, like like I said, I think that would be super effective. One thing I have to ask you here: What is a dookie in Rock? You said he almost, you said Billy almost dookied him. What does that mean? A dookie 
my friends is when it's a you take you take a regular dunk right like you get dunked on and billy oh almost gets a nice shot you take a regular dunk you get dunked on right a dookie is a dunk that goes in the net that's what a dookie is just a there dunk you, there you have that it goes in that's all it is a dunk that goes in like you okay. can get regular dunks right you yeah. can get dunks that don't go in that's just a dunk that is but very dunks true that, dunks that go in the net is a dookie gotcha is that is that an official term for rocket league or is that just something that we say on dcrl here that's just something that i say if more people want to say it be my guest but parker with a very good goal absolutely floating ball stewie kind of just uh oh i think he got bumped there but i don't i don't think that was cryptify get stewie off course to save that ball and parker there to put that one away and worldwide men again go up early in this game We'll see if they can hang on to it this time. That's great to see early from them. Let's see if they can hold on to it. Parker, Stewie has a really unfortunate recovery, but he's able to get back in time. You know, we, this happened last game. But are they going to be able to stay aggressive, and can they get more goals? That's really what's important. Right. I 100% agree. But uh, about 50 seconds into this one, Worldwide, Worldwide Ben putting on some good pressure here. Triple five going off the wall. Doesn't quite get the touch he's looking for, I don't think. Grant maybe looking to get some disruption going here. Does get a little bit of a bump, but Greek Avenger gets a nice clear, giving his team some time. Togues gets a touch over to the corner. Parker tries to slot it. Can't quite get it as Stewie. Swats that one aside and gets it around another one. This one might be free if Parker can't get back in Stewie. With the beautiful, the beautiful 50. Is um, that not a dookie? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't is know this, if that's a dookie. Is this not a dookie? No, 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 no dookie on that no one. Dookie? No dookie on that one. Can we get a dookie no. counter? Can we, can we get a command for that in here? <laughs> but uh, we're, dragons are going to tie this one up one to one. There's oh. a little bit left to go in Stewie. Oh my goodness, dude. I don't know if that... Uh, I got a little bit of pre-flip action there. I, don't, I wasn't sure if I caught that right. Oh no. Kind of just read him a little bit. Right on, uh, right on the defender's head there. Is that one a and dookie? <laughs> he dunked a dookie him. okay maybe technically it's a dookie but actual dookies have just more oomph and emphasis you know it's just like a huge dunk you know it wants you to say go to the gym in the chat kind of thing yeah okay, yeah I exactly got you. that makes a little more sense it's not just a dunk that goes in it's, it's yeah, a yeah, bad. yeah it's like it's like a, it's a it's, it's a huge dunk yeah, like it's okay. just like a on your head lebron james yeah, okay. like dunked on that makes so. more sense but dragons do go up two to one get two back-to-back -back, uh, consecutive goals there and two minutes in here worldwide men need to try and get some more offensive pressure because it seems like the dragons have just kind of been controlling this one so far and yeah, no 100 percent besides the first 20 seconds again it's been on blues half for the majority of the game they really have to get their second man up and they really have to get really good clears to get it over stewie especially right and oh my gosh we almost see a crazy shot come out from grant when ricochets off the crossbar and one thing i'm wondering you know billy has all this pent up you know passion or cripplify sorry i'll use his gamer tag for people that don't know cripplify has a lot of like pent up emotion and you know passion about being on div a i can't help but wonder if he's feeling a little bit of nerves is he feeling a little bit of nerves finally getting his shot here and uh, you can't help but wonder it. I was super nervous my first time playing in Divay. I was super, super nervous. So I can't help but imagine what he's feeling like. But we are two minutes, uh, two and a half minutes into this one. And Dragon's being so, oh my goodness, Stewie almost hits a crazy musty there. And uh, looking like Dragons are controlling this one once again as Grant has so much time and space there, but ends up just giving it away to Greek. It's a nice favorable touch here, but Stewie denies him in the midfield here. But we do see Parker try to continue this one off the backboard. Gets another one. This one's kind of floating. Cripplefy goes up. But Togues gets that one out of his way here. We do see Stewie on the counterattack. Doing some crazy SSL things. I couldn't tell what was going on there. Looked crazy though. Grant. It's a little bit of another giveaway there. Over to Greek Avenger. And Parker opting to just bang this one up here. Cripplefy does get a nice uh, little bit of a bang here. Parker. Oh, oh my goodness. I would have lost it if he went that one in. Oh. Holy! Parker almost <laughs> sniping the top corner on a redirect. That is almost like the craziest goal of the year so far. Oh my! Anyways, a minute left. Is are the worldwide men going to be able to tie this up and get an, and get a win in regulation or overtime? You know they really have to. They have to have a lot of pressure here. Stewie and 
and Grant especially are really good on defense. They're really good at getting the ball and they're really fast. Right. Ugh. And Grant, they're just to capitalize on a little bit of a, a mistake there, maybe defensively. I don't know from Cryptofly, not able to get behind that one perfectly. And Grant, the speed's in there. And that one's going to go, that one's going to put Dragons up 3-1 to one now with 55 to go. And like I said, it seems like Dragons have just been controlling this in every aspect. Defensively, offensively, seems like they've just had the upper hand here. So we're going to see if Worldwide Men can try and turn this one around as Dewey gets a pass mid. But uh, Togues and Grant not able to make anything of it here. But we do see Cryptofly trying to make something happen here. Maybe going for a dump, or <laughs> a dump. <laughs> A bump. <laughs> not able to <laughs> not be able to find anything but Stewie. Oh, you can't give this guy space in the air. He's gonna do some crazy stuff. Gets a nice 50 off the backboard, but Parker. Oh, puts that one aside. But Grant gets a nice touch, keeping that one mid. Toast comes in again, bangs it off the blue backboard again. And Stewie had a sh chance to get a shot on that there, but puts that one over. Again, Stewie just containing this one in the midfield. And Dragons have done such a good job at that all game. Yeah, these dra the dragons have really just had so much pressure the entire series. Parker, Greek, and Billy, they have to go into this this intermission. They have to talk through what they need to work on, what they need to fix, what they can try. Because to get a reverse sweep is very difficult, especially in Duvet. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it, it literally happened to me a couple days ago. But it, like like you said, it is hard. And it, especially, I mean, yeah, Duvet, it, it is a super hard thing to come up. But, I mean... It is not impossible. It is not impossible. And uh, all it takes is a little bit of a reset here, maybe. It looks like they might take a little bit of time here. Just take a breather. Try and uh, recontain themselves. And just go next. Try and forget what just happened. And move on next. You see Togues flexing on the cams. Bro's got the ego the size of, I don't know, a planet, dude. <laughs> not, not to rehash really it, it, but we, we had a reverse sweep against you last year as well. In yep. between those, that game two and three, we sat there for the whole minute just talking what each of us need to do. And we went in with a game plan and we executed it perfectly. That's what they have to do here. They need to just yep. figure out what is going wrong. What can we do? How do we win this series? Right, 100%. And I know I know um, every single member of Worldwide Men have played their fair share of Rocket League, as you need to do in order to be in Division A. And, you know, the you're trying to just come up and see what the best course of action is. And after that minute's up, it looks like you're ready to get into this game number three and see if see if uh Worldwide Men can change a little bit, change it up a little bit here and you know maybe turn this series around. Yeah, these guys have played a lot of Rocket League. They have I think about fifty-five thousand games combined, which is just insane. So they they know what to do <laughs> and they'll be they might be able to pull this off, but it's gonna be tough. It definitely is, but we do see Greek Avenger get a nice bang here. It's cut off by Stewie in the midfield. Greek is put in an awkward spot here. It goes off the backboard. Stewie's just containing off the backboard. I've seen the Dragons do that a lot. They just continuously just sit there and bang it off the blue backboard yep. until somebody can finally finish a shot. That's kind of what I'm noticing here. It's a common trend. Yeah, it's only Stewie and, uh, starting it to a big with by Parker. Yep. But... Yeah, when they hit it to the backboard, someone's going to jump, and whether or not they hit it, they're out of the play for multiple seconds. And that's when you can get really oh. open nets. You know, once again, though, they just have so much pressure. They can't get the ball out of their half. Right. Stewie with a shot on net. That one looks so awkward in Parker. So awkward, maybe getting a... Uh, trying to avoid a bump there. I think can't he was quite get it. respecting the shot, too. He went off the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, oh, he was he, squishy. He, he was he squishy. jumped half a second earlier... He would have had the jump, but if, as you heard there, he he uses flip on that instead of jumping off the backboard. So, yep. really unfortunate. Valiant attempt, though. I mean, that's really the only option. I mean, they were putting on the pressure here. The Greek Avenger tries to put a put a shot on that here. Parker going off his own wall gets a nice bounce shot here. Maybe going for a bump. Can't quite find anybody. Stewie puts that one off the wall, and uh, I thought maybe there'd be some opportunity there for Blue and Greek. Oh no! Can't quite find the touch there. Looking a little bit awkward. And uh, <laughs> drops the oop in the chat. Yep. Not even yep. Skip. Oop. Skip the replay. <laughs> Sorry, can't skip that I one. I really wanted to type Russ question mark in chat to make it. Nah, run. nah, that, nah, nah. Yeah, no. I put my hands down to my keyboard. I'm like, ah, that wouldn't be smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We. Is, I'll make the joke. Greek is a little bit maybe overwatched, but I think just playing the game a little bit and. Uh, 
just playing a little bit game a little bit every week i think that rust will very quickly disappear i don't think we'll see that i mean then greek avenger is the goat so he's a grubby gamer but yeah yeah we have the running joke between the two of us he's over there playing overwatch i'm over here playing rust so oh I was, oh my goodness billy with the read off the ceiling there we go you know that great really? 50 by greek avenger and Togs just is so awkward and can't get a touch amazing yep. shot by billy way to be there that's all you can ask yep. for from billy today maybe a little bit of hope coming out here i don't think worldwide men was what did they get a yeah i think they had a goal they, they did have a goal they've game opened too. both games with, with a goal yeah yeah yep that's right but uh good showing out here cripplefy going off the wall here showing off a little next here a little bit love to see the improvement coming out from him but Stewie has some time and space, puts that one up mid, but nobody from his team follows it. This is going to go off the orange corner here. But Toes gets a little bit of an awkward touch here. Parker able to get a 50. This one's going to fall down. Billy's up for it. Oh, can't quite find the touch. Carter gets a nice 50. This one's going to bounce low off the off the corner. Oh my gosh, what a read there. I think that was from Stewie off the corner. Toes, it's a nice favorable 50 there. Uh, Stewie, there no. Grant trying to keep that one in. So we can't quite find the extra touch there. And uh, uh, once again, I think we're seeing Dragons just try to get uh, a bunch of control here in this game. Yeah, no, they're really keeping that ball close, and they still have had a lot of pressure, even with Blue scoring that goal. Stewie is really great at keeping the ball close to him, especially in the air, where yep. just no one else can get to it. Oh, and what a save there by <laughs> Stewie. You're talking about it. Anyone else on the field probably wouldn't get that save, but Stewie... The man, the myth, yeah. the legend is there for his team when they need him most. Yeah, crazy save there off the backboard. Diving save. Just comes squirting off of the top of the crossbar there. Crazy save. But we do have two minutes left to go here. Dragons threatening to just close this series out in three. And yeah, man, I I don't know. Worldwide men showing a little bit of hope here and there. But they're going to need to try and just main, maintain more control of this ball. It seems like they just keep giving it away opting to just uh, boom it out of their own half but I can't blame them as Stewie gets the fake on Parker and uh Dragons with another opportunity here Togues can't quite find the shot there and now uh, Stewie is up early on, on no one's in the net of worldwide men was that a triple that commit one. on that first shot yep oh, oh no. no that is yeah that's unfortunate truly unfortunate triple committing especially in Dive will end in the goal every time even yeah. if it doesn't happen right away. That is unfortunate here from Worldwide Men. A minute and a half left to make up these two goals. It's very possible, and there's a lot of time, but it's not looking likely. Yeah. You hate to see it. A little bit of a miscommunication there, 100%. Coming up for Worldwide Men. But uh, again, you got to keep your hopes up. This is week one. Those types of things will, um, will hopefully disappear as the season goes on and as you polish up your game plan. But you got to keep in mind, everybody's doing the same thing, so... You gotta try and do something to keep your edge over everybody. We do see a minute left to go here. This dragon's up three to one. Parker trying to maybe get a touch off the backboard, but puts it into the orange corner. Oh, securing this one out. It's a pop up high. Greek Avengers up. No one else is up from Worldwide Men, and he can't quite find the touch. Maybe fake. Rip puts it on net, but a good save coming up from Dragons. And now, oh, Parker, I think he's trying to find the pass mid. Greek finds a goal. There we go. I, whether That's all they was, needed. Whether it's intentional or not, the team pinch center right <laughs> to Greek Avenger. Right over Let's Grant. Go. Toe just can't get back to it. Really <laughs> lucky that that worked out in their favor and didn't just pinch straight over to the wall. But, you know, yeah. however it happens, they got the goal. 45 hey, you seconds. You gotta take it. It's a lot of yep. time. Yeah, take it and run with it. Billy looking a little bit awkward here. It's a nice Ooh. 50 though on Stewie. Keeping his team alive there. Great. And uh, 30 seconds to go here. Worldwide men. Need to get something going. The shot! Grant's oh. there for the follow-up! Oh no! What happened? Oh, Carter gets bumped out and is not able to get to this pass in time. Oh, yeah. that is very unfortunate. 30 seconds left down too. They need a goal and they need it now. 100%. I thought that last goal gave them a little bit of hope and a little bit of opportunity there. But now they're going to need one very quick, like you just said. They're going to need one quick here to try and tie this one up. We do see Grant in the blue corner here just... Wasting time, so much time disappearing by the second. Looking so awkward, Stewie. Stewie. Oh, don't do it. Stewie! Oh. Oh. Everyone knew what was about to happen, and we still can't help <laughs> be disgusted by it. Beautiful. Thing, touch grass in chat. <laughs> uh, There's a little bit of toxicity I know you guys... <laughs> out from the Overwatch president there. 
<laughs> you guys can't see it in chat, but Greek Avenger says touch grass in chat. <laughs> they most definitely can see it in chat. That's yeah. the funny thing. So, oh, oh. yeah. Looks like dragons looking like they're going to walk away with this one. Uh, very convincingly. Very, very convincingly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, crazy, crazy stuff. I, you got to see the stats on the series, but it was in blue's half probably 75, 80% of the time. And, yeah. I you know, agree. Greek Avenger looked really solid in that last game with five saves and a goal, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a team game. And yep, it really is. It really is. Um, but yeah, honestly, there they are, ladies and gentlemen, on your screen. Dragons do walk away with this one in a very, very, like I said before, very convincing fashion. So good game all around from them. Completely dominating. So um, we're going to wait to try and get them um, in the in the VC here. But was that what you expected to see there? That was, no. was that, did you think that was going to happen? Not at all. I thought that, you know, I thought Billy, he would get his chance in Divot and he would take it in stride. He looked really timid, really nervous for the first cup for the first two games. That third game, he did look solid, but it just wasn't enough. Stewie just absolutely demolishing their opponents. Yeah, 100 percent. And it uh, looks like we're finally starting to get our guys in here and I'll go ahead and uh, welcome you guys all to the casters chat. That means you guys have won your series successfully. Let's go. Congratulations. Congratulations. W. Um, you guys looked absolutely dominant. I don't know. Um, this has kind of been a topic that I talked about in the last series. But being that you guys are the varsity team, how much have you guys played together so far before this match? Mm. Once like or twice. Once or twice. A couple times. <laughs> a couple times. Nah, we've, we've scrimmed that. some, but... Um, okay. Other than that, I really, just... Uh, getting on and, and playing and doing some uh some vod review and um really just just uh have, having fun really uh, we're just trying to play and, and enjoy it as much as possible nice you absolutely love to hear that and i i think that i think that really showed um in this first first series here you guys seemed like you guys were already very well polished um seemed like you guys had all of your stuff under control and you guys knew exactly what you're doing and you executed it well and uh, i think you guys completely dominated that i mean there's there was only a couple times where maybe it got a little bit out of your guys' control but i mean you got like i said that was just a very good showing from you guys but uh i'll go ahead and toss it over uh <laughs> i don't know i don't know I... already <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm you're getting roasted. Old. <laughs> you are pretty old. <laughs> you're old for Rogue, at least. Like, <laughs> so yeah, with that, I'll go ahead and toss it over to Togues. I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. welcome back to the league, man. Thank welcome you, back. You guys, uh, when was the last time you competed in uh, in the NDSU league? Uh, I think it was the semester before, like, D C row started. Well, like so. spring of... 2021 or 22 something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it was 22. I think I was supposed yeah. to graduate 21. Graduated played, 20. played in the tubes. Yeah. Gotcha. Dubs. But yeah, so yeah, great, uh, great welcome back for you. Getting a nice, very convincing dub. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you too. Do you? How are you fitting in with this team? I mean, you have. I don't know. What was the MSUM team last semester? Was 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 trash still there? No, I graduated. Okay. Um, it was, okay. It was still Grant and I, but we had a, a couple other people. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah, Togs, going back to you, how how do you feel like you're fitting in? Are you having? Are you have you found your spot? Are you feeling feeling good, or how are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Um, I think starting to play with these guys, it was kind of like hard to fit in a little bit, just because they played so much together already. Um, yep. Kind of just trying to find my role, but yeah, we're just kind of doing whatever it takes to win. I feel like we're figuring it out. It feels good. Yeah, nice. I think you guys, you have a very good couple of teammates, and it looks like you guys, um, just looking at the cams and all the reaction and stuff, looks like you guys are a good group of guys, and looks like you guys are having fun. So, love to see that from the MSUM boys, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, it looks like you guys have a good season ahead of you. Um, Eric, you got any questions for these guys? I do not. Alright. Um, I guess I'll, I'll give Grant a, a chance in the spotlight here. When do you graduate, dude? You've been around a while, too. Uh, this... I'll graduate in spring, same as Stewie. 
Okay. So what's gonna happen to this Rocket League team when I'm you not, guys are gone? I'm not sure, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like, gonna be tough for us to hand hand down the reins to somebody. I don't. I have no idea. Like I'll still yeah. be in school until next fall, but like. I really hope there's other talent <laughs> He's looking for like an SSL. He's looking for yeah. two SSLs. To I'm gonna have him. to start campaigning my behind off for that, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we won't dump too much on you. Don't worry. That's no, good. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off there. And uh, again, congratulations on a very convincing win. You guys look like you guys are gonna be a very hard team to beat this year. So, um. Cong uh, congratulations again, and uh, good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you, Oral. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Eric. Have Thanks, a good guys. one. Yes, sir. See ya. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think that will about do it for us. It's been a long night for me. 11 o'clock and a couple hours of streaming for me. Getting back into the, into the, the stream of things, I guess you could say. A little bit of scuffed at first, but we got it figured out. And I think that second series went, went a lot better, so... Um, all around a very, very good night of Rocket League. Uh, we had a five, a game five in series number one, and then we got to see the dragons absolutely pop off. Um, I'm super excited to see, you know, how worldwide men can progress. And especially, you know, once Parker can get accustomed to all these new people and once Carter can maybe get a little bit of rust off and how Billy can fit in, it's going to be really, excuse me, it's going to be really interesting to see, um, how that team comes together and I'm super excited to see um, how that goes moving forward but um, that's about all I have left to say um, Eric thank you for swamp I'm gonna call you swamp I, I, I love that <laughs> I laughed when I saw your stream last night I didn't expect to see swamp on your uh, on your tag it made me laugh it was funny but um, thank you again for joining me it's no always problem. I always love having all all the all these people that help out to this huge thing that we call DCRLs. It's a blast every single time I do it and um, trying to end off this last semester strong. So again, I appreciate all the help you give and yeah, but with that, do you have anything else to say here? No, I do not. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one off. Um, thank you guys all for stopping by. Thanks for all the follows. Uh, thank you Ktool for the five, uh, the five gifted earlier. Beautiful stuff coming out from you. Thank you for supporting as you have for, I don't know, probably what, 20 years, 10, 20 years now. I don't know how long it's been since, uh, since you've been around, but it's been a while, but anyways, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the support, support from all of you guys as always. And, um, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.